Hello, my name is John Spangle. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Underground, uh, the channel that represents the Christian church that's going underground. I always mention the two uh, best examples, China and Iran. There's a big revival in both countries. Uh, many people are sacrificing there to worship God, and that will be going all over. We're heading towards tribulation, and during tribulation, what people are here will be underground if they worship God. The body of Christ before tribulation will be going up in the rapture. And there will be those left behind, but they will suffer a lot, but they will come to know God. Today I wanted to a quick video. I've done a series of videos today. That's my fourth one for today. It's a forgiveness of others. I looked in Matthew chapter 6, verses 14 and 15. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. We're willing to accept forgiveness for ourselves, but then it's kind of hard. We're in the flesh to forgive others when bad things happen. And so, um, realize that you have to have a forgiving nature. Uh, God's not going to uh, accept the forgiveness for you if, if you just, you're vindictive bitter and you attack other people constantly that's you know he wants you to have that forgiveness christ-like heart for others matthew chapter 18 verses 21 and 22 then came peter to him and said lord half oft shall my brother sin against me and i forgive him till seven times and jesus said unto him i say not until the until seven times but until 70 times seven in this situation, Peter is trying to boost himself up, saying, you know, Lord, I, I forget my brother seven times. You know, he does things bad against me. And then Jesus is like, no, no, you're not good enough. You're here to do it more. And so a lot of times I get that from some of my family members. Uh, will say, well, you're just letting people walk all over you. You're weak. And uh, it's not it's not the... Letting people walk all over me, I'm weak. It's it's forgiveness for them, you know. I'm not a weak man, you know. That's that's where my 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 kids are grown adults. They don't see this much, but I've never tried it. You know, I'm military. I don't treat like I was talking to a friend yesterday when I had supervisor jobs and stuff. When I wasn't working a coal mine or anything like that, I would not treat my civilian job like my military. My guys were training for warfare. I was rough, mean, and hard on them. They loved me to death, but I was, like I give an example, I take five soldiers and put a bit building where no one could watch us, and I walk in there and said, all right, you guys ready for combat training? Yes, Sergeant. And then I just go right in punching and kicking on them, you know, toughen them up. There's a lot of times I'd take my guys, and, and of course, you can see I do training. I would take a, do knuckle push-ups on the rocks. You know, that's the thing that not only was it to build their endurance and strength and kind of because fightings of the mind, we were soldiers, but to push them. And, uh, but I would do it with them. That's my point. I wouldn't tell them to do something. Some NCOs would be like, you do this, do that. Because they've gone through that. And they've done that. But it's like, well, I don't have to do that no more. I'll make you do it. I'll try. No, no. You still got to keep up. You still got to be combat proficient as a soldier, so uh, I would do it with him. I would have, for every 10, a soldier gave me 10 push-ups on the rocks, I'd do 20. I'd do twice what they did. I had a lot of respect from them. But I was, you know, at times I'd, I'd be rough with them, and they, they knew that. And with my children, I don't need to be rough with them. My discipline, but I don't be rough with them like the military. So they don't see that side of me. They didn't, they didn't see me in combat. They haven't seen me do this and that. So, when they're like, well, you're weak, people walk all over you. Dude, if I don't want someone to walk over me, they're not going to walk all over me. <laughs> you know, that's, that's, not, that's not ego, it's being honest. But I do what God wants me to do, not what John Spangle wants to do. I'm the, you know, the flesh. Oh, no one's going to get the best of me. No. God says, chill out. And, layman's turn, chill out. And, you know, work with that person. So I do, you know, and 
that that's what you know we you gotta have forgiveness you know, like I said uh, I won't be saved if uh, I can't forgive others Matthew chapter 18 verses 34 and 35 and his Lord was wroth wroth <laughs> sorry man and delivered him to the tormentors till he should pay all that was due unto him so likewise shall my heavenly father do also unto you if ye from your hearts forgive not everyone his brother the their trespass. So God's going to allow things, bad things happen to you if you uh, willingly, if if you don't forgive, have forgiveness for others. You know, in other words, He's not going to help you out, forgive you if you won't be that way towards other people. Second Corinthians chapter two verse ten: To whom ye forgive anything, I forgive also. But if I forgave everything to whom I forgave it, for your sakes forgave I it. In the person of Christ, and I want to give an example. I, I, I put here as we are to walk of the believer. Ephesians chapter four verses thirty and thirty-two, and grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. But ye be kind one to another, tender heart, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. So that sums it up right there. We, we are to be forgiving of other people. Someone does something bad to you, forgive them. It's going to happen a lot in life. Um, because if I can't have a forgiving nature towards others, then God just he won't have a forgiving nature to me. So you don't want to be bitter and, and anger and with me being a combat veteran, that's the biggest issue I have of everything. Anger. Uh, like I've said before in previous videos, once you get to a certain point in things, it's easier to go back or you got that nature. And you being in warfare, your fight and your anger, it, it's something I had to deal with the rest of my life here on earth. So I go to God a lot of times if I'm, I get angry or if I mess up. Uh, Moses had an issue with anger. And it kept him from going to the promised land. He broke the Ten Commandments out of anger. And he had made the water come out of the rock, not doing it correctly under God's way, and did it out of anger. And because of that, he was not allowed into the promised land. So, only way to, to get this, because this is of the flesh, the bitterness and all that, and the wrath and evil speaking and malice. It's just to go to God. And that, for me, it's daily. It's a daily struggle because I, I live in the flesh. That's why there's nothing I can do to save myself. I would never, I'm not good enough to go to heaven. It's a sacrifice that Jesus made and for uh, uh me believing on him and asking for forgiveness for my sins and, and to have a repentive heart. But for that I wouldn't I wouldn't have no grace gift of God to go to heaven. So we to be forgive others. It's not a weakness to be forgiving to other people. The world will put it as a weakness. But those are people that don't understand. You know, anybody said, Well, you're it's just a pushover, you're let they don't understand that. It's not a weakness. You're not compromising when you're using forgiveness to others. Basically, we're commanded to. So keep that in mind next time someone does something bad to you and you're quick to go, man, that person I just <laughs> You got you gotta you gotta let it go. Uh, I mentioned a few videos because what my family's going through right now, me and my wife and situation with our home and the contractors and the things that's been going on. Gotta have forgiveness and just let things ride. And so and that's how to do that is accepting God and giving to God. It's not easy because we're the flesh, but it's the best thing for us. God bless you. And hopefully uh, I look forward to someday, maybe somebody in heaven would say, hey, I watched one of your videos. It helped me study. And that's what I look for. I don't mind criticism because criticism is how I learn. If there's any things I make a mistake or someone thinks, well, maybe put it in the comments. Or if there's anything you think of, 
put in the comments and I'll research and, and see what we come up with. Till then, God bless you and uh, may God protect you.